Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today is the first Tuesday of the month. If you're a regular Game From Scratch, you know what that means. It is time for Unreal Christmas in July. First Tuesday of every month, Epic Games gives away a number of free assets for Unreal Engine developers. This month is no exception. In fact, this month is exceptional, because this month's assets we helped pick. As the Game From Scratch community, I asked you guys to submit a huge list of things that you were most interested in seeing. I submitted them off to the Epic Games team over at the Unreal Engine Marketplace, and this is is what we have come up with. Now, if your asset did not necessarily make the cut, there's a good chance that you might see it in a future giveaway now that they are aware of them. But this is what we got, and I think all game developers are going to be pretty happy with our choices. And the first one we've got, this is the only one I'm actually going to showcase in action. This is the Wild West Sky City Pack. Now, this is a modular uh, kit uh, for creating Western-style villages. Uh, also, you've got a little bit of the steampunk going on because you've also got these animated airships. Let's go up and see one in action up over here. So there's actually um, animation on the props. There's some sound that goes with them. We'll go ahead and play this one. Now, the reason why we're actually going to see this pack in action, so you see it here, if I had audio recording, there's actually noise being emitted as well. So you get these sky ships as well, but you've also got this really beautiful environment for creating uh, these style of uh, Old West saloon kind of maps or uh, sky cities, if that's what you want. So you got these bridges and trellises that connect everything together. And this is the one major pack. Now, the reason why I'm focusing on this one is because all of the rest of the items in this pack, I'm going to actually do their own video on. This one's straightforward in what it consists of. Let's go see the overview showcase of it right here but every other thing that we've got each day of this week so tuesday wednesday thursday and friday most likely uh you're going to see a video about a specific asset i do not know why that's not going away on its own but let's just get rid of it there so you can see all of the things that go together to create this the various different pieces here now this is one of those mysteries i've always had how do skeletons stay together once their bones Never knew that one. We'll never understand that one. Uh, so here you see the various different buildings go together. We've got some trading houses. We've got uh, some water catchments. Uh, we've got saloons and just general waiting areas and so on. Uh, so very nice, high quality assets. By the way, every single thing we're going to see in this month's collection works in both Unreal Engine 4.x as well as Unreal Engine 5. So that is the Wild West City um, a modular asset pack, and that is it for the hands-on portion of this video. Let's look at the other assets in this pack. And the first one is the most requested by so many of you, and I think you're going to be delighted to see it here. It is the Fluid Ninja VFX Tools Kit. So this makes it so you can create all kinds of fluid sims, basically anything that you can really imagine, smoke, fire, clouds, etc., uh, and bake them out to really high-performance flipbook um, support. Uh, so again, I'm going to do a hands-on with this one, and this one is going to uh, blow your mind with what it's actually capable of, and for the most part, how it easy it is to work with. So you can do volumetric clouds, you can do uh, explosions, you can do smoke curling up, plasma, you name it, you could probably do it with this guy. So fluid simulator, real-time viewports, and preset management, baking tools, saving density and velocity data to flipbooks. Um, you got uh, volume smoke, volume cloud, volume fog setups to drive volumetrics with flipbooks. Niagara, which is their built-in particle system, uh, modules to sample the baked fluid data and drive GPU-driven particle systems. Flow map and vector filtration tools, blueprint functionality for managing Niagara systems and ray marshing, and 100 plus use cases in the demo level. So again, going to do a hands-on video with this guy, so we will see that later on. And again, it works in all versions of Unreal Engine 5. So I know a lot of you wanted, so there were a couple of choices for Fluid Sim tools. I believe Fluid Ninja was the most popular choice of them all, and I think I just made many of you happy with this selection. But again, stay tuned. There will be a video about this one probably the end of this week. Uh, we also have the instant deform component. This one is actually really cool. This one is implemented as a plugin. Uh, it does work in all versions though, uh, all recent versions anyways. And what it allows you to do is basically add deformations with just like a few clicks. So once you've put it in place and then you have a collision in your world, you'll see here the the deformation that happens between the objects. It automatically handles it for you. There is a super deformed version of it right there. Uh, but it is a deformation system uh, that is super, super simple to work. Uh, it's very fast to set up. It's very performant to work with. It can work with skeletal meshes and um, 
also with static meshes in an experimental format. Uh, it is really quite easy to work with, which is kind of impressive. And I'm also going to showcase this one with this month's permanently free edition, probably tomorrow. So stay tuned for the video showcasing the Insta Deform component in action. Uh, and then we got the first of two game template style things. So if you want to create a specific style of game, we've got two genres covered with this month's giveaway. The first one is for point and click style games. It's the point and click adventure toolkit. This one is implemented entirely as blueprints. Um, it is a point-and-click style movement in interaction. All the things you need to do to make a point-and-click style game, anything like uh, the Monkey Island titles or... Okay, I don't play a lot of point-and-click games, so I'm not coming up with a bunch of examples. But all the stuff that you need to do, like it, area zones, inventory items in your world, and so on, they're all handled in this framework. So point-and-click style, point style movement and interactions, action systems where you can easily add your own data-driven dialogues, uh, interactive items and inventories, interactable objects, doors, and cross-scene translation. Um, transitions, uh, scene manager for cutscenes, uh, gameplay and dialogue conditions, advanced and fixed cameras. Uh, we've got extensive save and loading system, includes main menu, game menu, and so on. Uh, scene hint frameworks, uh, supportive tooling for many features, supports 2D and 3D perspectives, and so on. So if you're looking to create um, an adventure game, all the stuff that you need to create that style of game, the movement system, the inventory systems, the interaction systems, the loading and saving and more are all implemented in this framework. So if that is the style of game you're going for, you're definitely going to like this one. Another option we've got here is the turn-based RPG template. Now, what this is just for creating... Um, grid-based games. Uh, again, you could use what you wish from it, the subsections or components of it, but if you ever created, played like... Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics or Ogre Battle, those kind of games. This is a system for creating that sort of setup. So you've got uh, grid-based movement systems. And let's go look at the features down here. So this one, again, is 100% blueprints based. It's got grid systems, drag and drop support, camera movements, waves of enemy, boss fight support, supports for creating uh, uh, support skills and offensive skills, attack patterns, uh, damage systems based off stats, and so on. So if you're trying to create a tactical style of game or a grid-based game, or ideally a grid-based, turn-based, tactical style game, this framework should be ideal for you. Uh, and then, of course, we've got the Wild West City. This one has many names. Wild West City, Wild West Town, Wild West Sky City Dash Town. For the permanently free item, we have the Vehicle Variety Pack Volume 2. Now, this one is actually not in the store. It is from the uh, Free for Life initiative. This pack will never cost you any money. It is part of the permanently free collection, and it is a collection of very high-quality vehicles. So you got four vehicles in this particular pack. So we have an SUV camper style, an old-school SUV, a car that I recognize, but I can't put my finger on what it is. I'm guessing... Is it an old school legacy or an accurate? I know one of you knows exactly what car this is. It's, I think, a 90s or early 1000s uh, Japanese style car. It's not a skyline, is it? Anyways, if you recognize what it is, let me know, because I know this is 100% based on a real world thing. Uh, but a number of high quality vehicles, and we got like a generic uh, storage van or postal van in here as well. Uh, definitely a nice pack. Now, if they sounded really familiar, that's because we actually already have the vehicle variety pack from them, which has these five vehicles in it as well. So now we've got a, a pretty consistent uh, art style collection of vehicles. You've also got a sports car, another uh, sportish car, a pickup truck, uh, an SUV-ish utility, and another cargo type vehicle, all from about the same area from the same studio and this is also in the permanently free collection i'm going to use this new variety pack a vehicle variety pack 2 along with the deformation kit so you're going to see this one in action probably tomorrow's video uh so stay tuned for that so if you're interested in checking these things out open up the unreal engine marketplace uh or the epic games launcher go to the marketplace go to the free tab and go to free for the month i'm actually recording this yesterday technically uh so last month's stuff is still up so if you did not buy all these for free last month uh they're not yours but what you want to do is basically come in before the first tuesday of um the next month go in here just buy them all add them all to cart and then check out and they will be yours forever as you can see here in terms of the permanently free collection item it is here under free permanently free collection and then uh 
the, you, you no time limit on this. All of the stuff here, the many pages of Permanently Free, there's almost 100 items in here now. There will be, actually, as of the time this goes live. So there are 100 assets in the Permanently Free collection. You can grab them whenever you wish. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is this month's choices. And I like what we came up with. Again, if your stuff did not make the list, it could be in a future bundle. Uh, they did do a comprehensive list we sent off to the Epic Games team and worked with them from. So hopefully we put some things on their radar, but I think this month's collection is pretty nice if I do say so myself. So again, we got the Fluid Ninja VFX tool. We have the Insta Deform uh, plugin for well, doing deformations easily. We have the Point and Click Adventure Toolkit. We have the turn-based RPG template. And then finally, we have the Wild West City Pack and then the permanently free edition is the new vehicle pack volume two let me know what you think also stay tuned all week long we're going to do a little bit more in depth with every single item we saw here except this guy which we saw pretty uh much uh, you know all there is to see about that guy today in this hands-on video part right here uh again everything we saw today works in unreal engine 4.x and in unreal engine 5 so everybody should be able to uh play along regardless to which version uh you are using what you're seeing right now this is unreal engine 5 that is this month's um free content uh, again cool thanks for reaching out epic games it was fun working with you guys putting this together and hopefully you guys like what we've got here uh let me know what you think comments down below and stay tuned again for hands-on video for a number of the items in this list all throughout this week all right i'll talk to you all later goodbye